Hey guys, Cam here. Now, I love being invisible. In video games, I mean. Whether it's engaging the cloak in Crisis, donning the optical camo in Metal Gear Solid, or even drinking an invisibility potion in Skyrim, being see-through in games is always fun. That appeal of blending in seamlessly into your environment and sneaking past dumb, non-invisible enemies just never gets old. But what about in real life? How close are we to actual scientific invisibility technology? If you Google invisibility technology, I can guarantee you'll come across three things within a matter of seconds. One, a comparison to Harry Potter's invisibility cloak. Two, a company called Hyperstealth Biotech Corp. And three, these sweet looking photos. Now, on face value, these pics are pretty impressive. And if you move over to the website for Hyperstealth Biotech Corp, then you get some equally impressive claims and information. Quantum stealth is a material that renders the target completely invisible by bending light waves around the target. The material removes not only your visual, infrared, and thermal signatures, but also the target's shadow. The website then goes on to say that the pics are in fact mock-ups, although they apparently demonstrate accurately what the real tech can do. However, they can't show us, poor general public, the actual technology in action for reasons of security, what with it being tech marketed to the military. Now, while I really wish this was all true, I've got to say I'm more than a little bit sceptical. I'm not saying it's impossible that Hyperstealth Biotech Corp have created this cloak as demoed in the mock-ups, but I do think it's highly improbable. And I'll tell you why. Let's start by taking a look at the cutting edge of cloaking research in the public domain. When we see a thing, an object, what we're actually experiencing is light, which is electromagnetic radiation, bouncing off the object and then back into our eyes. So in order to make something invisible then, in theory, all we need to do is to bend the light from behind the object, around it, and then channel it into the eyes of the viewer, essentially creating a blind spot. For a simple proof of principle, check out this video of John Howell from the University of Rochester and his two wee boys. Now they produced this neat little setup using mirrors, which does exactly that. Guides the light from the background, around the person, and then down the lens of the camera. Equal parts impressive and adorable. However, this simple mirror setup is unidirectional, meaning it really only creates a convincing illusion if the viewer is standing in a precise position. Okay, but what if we want a material that can surround an object entirely and make it invisible from multiple angles? Well then, we need to enter the world of man-made metamaterials. These are novel optical materials that can bend radiation around an object, hiding it from view. Very similar in principle to the mirror setup. The key thing about these materials, however, is that they exhibit a property not found in nature a negative refractive index. So what do we mean by this? Well, every material, including air, has an index of refraction. This is the amount that the object changes the direction or trajectory of the light when it passes through it. Water is a great example. We've all seen this effect when you put a straw in a glass and then view it from side on. Negative refraction bends light in new directions, allowing researchers to successfully direct electromagnetic waves around and cloak objects to very specific frequencies of light, rendering them invisible. Unfortunately though, so far this has only been achieved in experimental conditions with microwave frequencies of light, not actually visible light. However, researchers at University of Texas in Austin could be said to change all this by using electrically active metamaterials, as opposed to the passive ones we've seen before. By powering these materials, the researchers are confident they can successfully cloak objects to visible light too, as well as microwaves. Now it's just at the early research stage for the moment, mind you, but it does sound pretty exciting. And this is just one reason why I'm so skeptical of the claims of hyperstealth. You see, what they are claiming with these photographs is just so many stages beyond the cutting edge of the whole rest of the scientific community. Not only is their technology allegedly thin, lightweight, and inexpensive, it's also passive tech, not active and powered. 
Also, this picture of the grass here makes no sense, right? If the material is in fact bending light around from what is behind it, then we should be seeing the person. I mean, she's not wrapped in it, she's just lying underneath. And even if it was somehow projecting the ground beneath her, well, the grass should be dark, not illuminated. You see, it all just sounds a little bit too good to be true. And when it comes to cutting edge scientific technology, potentially worth a butt ton of money, when things sound like that, that means they usually are. So personally, I reckon we'll have to wait for further advancements in active man-made metamaterials before we get close to a true crisis style cloaking or Metal Gear Solid optical camo. Oh, and one final thing to bear in mind about this technology, if we ever do create a light bending cloak that can surround a person, while sure other people might not be able to see you, you also won't be able to see them, or anything at all for that matter, other than maybe your own reflection. So it's never gonna be quite the same as the invisibility tech we're used to in games. However, don't let this get you down because there are some other really cool things going on in the world of invisible tech. Land Rover, for example, are using cameras and projectors to turn the bonnet of their cars invisible for the driver. Cameras on the base of the car film an area of ground beneath and directly in front. The images are projected then onto a head-up display on the inside of the windscreen, effectively allowing the driver to see through the bonnet and negotiate the terrain beneath. Similar tech is also being used to shine background images onto a subject wearing a special cloak made of tiny glass beads 50 microns wide. These reflect the light directly back at the source, giving the illusion of invisibility. Now, while this is obviously something that would not help you in a stealth situation, it's still pretty cool. So what do you guys make of this real life invisibility technology? Let me know in the comments down below. Last week on Reality Check, I interviewed Mark Coulson about whether or not playing MMOs could in fact be bad for you. Now, I just wanted to highlight a couple of comments which I really enjoyed. User Mattcake said, let people do what they wanna do. People with an addictive personality will get stuck onto something. Better wow than drugs or booze or crap mobile games. To which user Pongli added, get them addicted to particle physics then. I want my damn spaceship. As always, thanks for those comments, everyone. And if you fancy doing the same, then there's those comment boxes I'm always wittering on about. Or you can find me on Twitter at CamFrazRob. Why not send me a tweet? Okay, guys, I'll see you back here next week for more science meets video games. Mm -hmm.